Hi, it's Wednesday. And this week we're talking about sharing your story and God's story as we witness for him. Because at the end of the day, God wants us to be like Jesus. And Jesus wants us to make disciples, other followers for him. And so we talked about having compassionate eyes. We talked about identifying the needs of, of those that are that, that you have compassion for. And today I want to talk to you about building friendship. It, it's not enough for you to give the information. People don't care what you know until they know how much you care. And so you have to be intentional in building friendships before you share the story, your story and God's story. You need to spend time. It could be, uh, I know some of you like fishing. Some of you uh, been watching TV shows or movies, whatever, eating. You know, the, the point is find ways to spend time building the relationship. And understand this principle that Paul lays out in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 19 to 23. And, and I'm going to read from the message version. It says, Paul says, even though I am free of the demands and expectation of everyone, I have voluntarily become a servant to any and all in order to reach a wide range of people, religious, non-religious, meticulous, moralists, loose living immoralists, the defeated, the demoralized, whoever. In some of your versions, in the King James or the New King James Version or the NIV, it says, to the Jew, I have become a Jew. That's like me saying to the Puerto Rican, I have become a Puerto Rican. What does that mean? Well, when I'm talking to a Puerto Rican, I am going to use the culture to make a connection with the person. You know, hey, vaya, you know, boricua. You know, so Paul is saying, as you are building your relationships with people, hey, if they're Jew, become a Jew. If they're African-American, become African-American. Be, try to enter their world. And then he continues to say, he says, I entered their world and tried to experience things from their point of view. I have become just about every sort of servant there is in my attempt to lead those I meet into a God-saved life. I did all this because of the message. I didn't just want to talk about it. I wanted to be on in it. He says, I am going to do everything to bring someone to the feet of Jesus. And so, I'll give you another example. I'm a New York Yankee fan. But if my friend is a New York Met fan, or a Boston Red Sox fan, I will sit with that person and not, not to berate or belittle them. I will see what they appreciate and try to make a connection because you never know. Maybe while you're watching a Yankee and a Red Sox game, you may be able to share your story and God's story. It begins by being a friend. And that is my thought as I sit on my yellow chair. God bless you. Bye-bye.